All right. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago, me and my we were on the road, and when you're on the road, you gotta do it. Everyone suggests that day because you have no ideas, and you gotta do something. Uh, last week, you we went to to the track, been on some horses. It's idiotic. I mean, I think it's fun, but I can't for a second imagine anyone figuring out which horse is going to win. I mean, I don't think the horses even know that they're racing. I mean, at the end, you think they go, well, oh, I was first, I was fifth, I was ninth. And I think more likely they're going, oat bag, I got my oat bag now, oat bag time for me. I have to bet on this idiot? I mean, I'm sure the horses have some idea that the jockey's in hurry. I mean, he's done the horse, he's hitting me, he's like, come on, come on. So they know it's important that I get somewhere fast for this guy, but the horse must get to the end and just say, we were just here. <laughs> we were just here, what's the point of that? <laughs> that was the longest possible route you could take. <laughs> Why didn't we just stay here? We would have been first. <laughs> I can tell you one thing the horses definitely do not know. They do not know that if you should trip and fall and break your leg at any point during the race, we blow your brains out. <laughs> I think they're missing that little tidbit of information. <laughs> if they knew that, I think you'd do some mighty careful stepping coming down that home stretch. <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. You win, I'll place whatever. The important thing is your health. <laughs> <laughs> they make blue out of horses. Blue. I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know who thought of that potential. <laughs> <laughs> That's a brainstorm in my book. <laughs> you know, someone's just working at a station. Someone's just working at a stationary store, or you know, working and see a horse go by the window. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I think he could be glue. <laughs> How do you pick out the really sticky ones? You leave that to me. <laughs> what about that one over there? He's weaving around. He looks like he's out of his mind. He'll be crazy. <laughs> I've gone horseback riding. I can't do that either. I found that they don't give you the good horses if you're not very good at it. <laughs> Like they ask him, what level of rider are you? I don't know, zero. I can't do it, I'm just going where the horse wants to go. And then they hear that, they go, all right, is glue stick back yet? <laughs> How about almost dead? Why don't you saddle him up? So I get on this U-shaped, lightning quick steed. And I look up at my friends, I don't think we all got the same level horse. <laughs> I'm riding a hammock! <laughs> From, kind of a calming feeling, I can walk along with it. <laughs> I got out of a car which has 300 horsepower to get on an animal which has one. <laughs> Why do we still use the term horsepower? Is that to further demean the horse? <laughs> the rocket, space shuttle rocket booster each has 20 million horsepower. I mean, at that point, is there any reason to continue to compare it to the horse? <laughs> Are they thinking of maybe going back to using horses for rockets? <laughs> Try and keep track of how many we're going to need. <laughs> hey horses, our rocket shuttle just broke down. Can you get 20 million friends to get <laughs> 20 million, that's a lot. <laughs> they got a... Um, the horse trailer. Is that the best way to transport a horse? You know, with the rear end just sticking out the back? <laughs> like they just must go and look at each other and say, Do you feel a draft, Bill? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>